it's about time for another crash stream. I'll admit, I've been putting it off. I don't think I, uh, I don't think I played this game since the last time I streamed it. I enjoy it when I'm in the mood for it. I just kind of fell out of the mood for it partway through playing it, so I'll still get through it. I want to keep up with it. I'll get through the story, at the very least, certainly. Do not have audio? I, th I think this intro doesn't have audio, does it? This always confuses me because I expect to hear things and then I don't. There it is. I heard a noise. I heard the friends online noise. There's the music. It's bizarre that it just doesn't have anything for the intro splashes. Uh, so last time, we unlocked Cortex. I think we did one bonus level with him. And outside of streams, me playing the game and, and compasses... Basically, me looking up a YouTube video and following it step by step, like, three times through a level. It's very tedious, and that's not something that I want to say about a Crash game, is calling it tedious. Because I like just playing the games on my own, and getting by with skill. But unfortunately, as we've learned, skill is not enough for this game. You need skill, and you also need to have, like, a superhuman level of knowing where everything is. It is very, very difficult to 100%. What are we doing? We did Paper Coco last time. I think... We did Party Gras? Maybe we didn't. I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll try Party Gras Crash. Hello, Darian. Uh, I'm using my Smash Brothers settings. So, how are the what are the audio levels like? You hear the game okay? Uh, those switch loading times. My microphone's getting a lot of noise lately, too. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, that's like one of the filters I have on or something. I have a, uh... Yeah, it's fine. Audio's fine. I have a noise reduction thing. I have a noise reduction and a compressor in OBS that I'm using. It's supposed to make it sound better, but what it does with the noise floor is it makes it so that every time I talk... Did I just slide over a gap? Yeah, I did. It is a very Jack hairdo. Or Super Saiyan. Either one. Either one will work. I might have to turn off the... Uh, uh, I might have to turn off the compressor and the noise filter and everything. Because it's making it sound weird, I'm noticing in streams lately. A lot of jumping on square-headed creatures in this game. We had Mardi Gras blocks, and now we have square dinosaurs. Also, I've been playing a lot of Dragon Quest Builders, so now I'm used to the jump button being on the side. It's like on the right, where the circle on a PlayStation would be. Which is why I ended up sliding across that gap.
It's gonna happen again, I know it is. Probably the last time I played, I streamed this. That's not a TNT, that's a Nitro. Dragon Quest Minecraft game. Uh, that's about it, it, actually. I was playing this in tandem with uh, CTR on the Switch. And I haven't really been doing that of late, either. That's another very difficult game. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of challenging stuff to do in it. Well, hopefully he, yeah, he'll break that. Although it's more about just doing stuff over and over again, as opposed to, I, I don't have to look up guides for things as much, in CTR at least. There was something above that. Did I get it? I didn't get a checkpoint, did I? Oh, that's all right. I try. I tried. GG. I'm not gonna worry about this level. I d I already know I missed something now. This bubbles area it reminds me of. Uh, I haven't seen like bubbles rising as a as a hazard since Zelda 2. Or else, uh, Kid Nicky had that. And they were really unforgiving in both games. Darren, you started playing a series for the first time recently, didn't you? I thought you said that in, uh... Discord. That's right, you started going through the Sonic games. So you played some of the Genesis ones and part of Adventure? And Forces, right? Actually, I think I, I mentioned that on the Sonic 06 stream. Which, come to think of it, that's the last platform I played. Go under! Ah! Should, like, spin those bugs, I'm pretty sure. It's a very dynamic level. 
This game is flashier than uh, previous Crash games. Well, the original trilogy, at least. I already know I missed something. What is that? Is that that's a flashback tape. Oh, that's... All the classic games just now starting the 3D games. What, uh, what classic ones? Just like 1, 2, 3 and Knuckles? Spinball was deceptively popular. I hear a lot of people like Spinball, and I had it as a kid. I enjoyed it. I never got very far in it, but I enjoyed it. Three D blasts I could never get into. Jack liked it. I I, I didn't. It was, very, it was a weird game. Isometric Sonic. Those aren't gems. Those are mushrooms. They're gem shrooms. I thought they. I thought it was a purple gem platform until I saw the second one. This whole level is just a chase sequence. Alright, how many was it? Uh, quite a few. I, I didn't hit a bonus section, did I must have completely missed it. Is that like a stuffed crash? Is that he's got like candy corn for ears? What is that skin? Wake up! My goodness, if it isn't Lani Loli, how are you, brother? Uh, sorry to interrupt, but existence could end at any minute, so can we hurry? <sighs> When's existence ever done anything for anyone anyway? Oh, don't mind Grumpy Gus. He's always a downer. Yeah, don't mind me. I don't matter. Nothing matters. Now that we found Ika Ika, that's all for. What's next? We can't close the rifts until we stop whatever's opening them. That would be entropy and his precious Rift Generator. Sounds like it's time to kick some entropy butt. <laughs> the audio's a little bit off. I can fix that. There we go. Okay, so all the all the Genesis games. You didn't play, uh, have you played Sonic CD? I had the Mega Collection on the GameCube, and there was another collection. It was the Gems Collection. That had Sonic CD, Sonic the Fighters, and Sonic R. We're on that one. Oh, there's a Dinga Dial stage. With... It's like a blow-up. It's like a balloon. I don't want an inflatable Coco. What is that? I should have gone to the I should have gone to the Mardi Gras Coco. Oh well, next level. Thank you. 
I liked the original uh, Sonic trilogy somewhat. Right. Right. Gotta be another one of them shimmery things around here. I wasn't crazy about Sonic CD. It was strange in that it had like uh, it had a partial spin dash. You couldn't charge it up to go faster. You could just like do a spin once. And then you get a little bit of a little bit of a boost. It was better than nothing. But it wasn't as good as Sonic 2 and on. L2, that's the button. CD on Steam. A lot of people love the uh, the cutscenes in CD. They had like uh, fully animated little sequences. Oh, I should have. No, I needed one of those. Damn it! Can I get something over there? Too late. Yeah, it's too late. I can't make that gap while holding something. Uh, Sonic CD has a, has a weird kind of cr uh, production story in that after Sonic 1, the team split into two. And one of the one of the teams went to make Sonic CD, and the other one made Sonic 2. So they were both developed in tandem, two different sequels to Sonic 1. It's a tough baby. Which is why there's similar ideas in the both of them, but they, uh... They do have their differences. I wonder if the Sega CD hadn't... If it had done better. If the third Sonic game, or the fourth Sonic game, whatever you want to call it. The Sonic 3 that we got would have been more similar to Sonic CD instead of Sonic 2. Like, maybe they would have chosen to go in more the direction of Sonic CD instead of... instead of 2. isn't the way. Oh, there's a thing over there. Can I make it to that? I can't. Oh, it's in the background? I can't jump on it. Still attempting, probably in futility, to get all of the crates until I pass a point that I definitely cannot. I saw someone did a video they just put out about the handheld crash games. I don't know if it was Gerard the Completionist, it was uh, someone, I think it was the same guy who did the video of getting all Platinums in the crash games. Or in the, in the original trilogy anyway, the Insane Trilogy, I should say. God help him if he went for that in this game. I 
I didn't watch the video, so I don't know what it's like. But, uh... He's one of the YouTubers I see in my recommended who does spend a lot of attention on the Crash series. So that's nice. Oh, I need TNT. That's a long way to carry this. They want me to carry two so I can get that thing, the uh, the boxes over there. I, I feel safer jumping to them, but I don't think it's gonna let me. I don't think I can go that far, and it'll like cut me off. It won't let me bounce on them like the previous time. Oh, there's bubbles there. Maybe it was Kadikarus. Oh, he 100 percent at this game. Crash Bandicoot super fan Kadikarus. Kid Icarus. Hit. Loves Crash Bandicoot. Hit a bubble. There we go. I already would like another checkpoint. Hello, Ripperoo. Skeet shooting. It's gonna want me to bring a TNT along here, isn't it? Maybe not. I think I'm gonna go back there and get all those stuff just by, by hitting them. I don't need to throw TNT at them. And thank God. There we go, another checkpoint. This might be a short stream, by the way. I was debating whether I wanted to do one at all today. I haven't been uh, terribly in a streaming mood, but I have been putting off Crash Four, and I, I do want to. I want to get through more of it. So I will do so today. Probably take tomorrow off. Play on uh, Nick does his Smash streams on Friday, and then Jack is off at some point this weekend. Maybe we can finally do a stream together again. <clears throat> okay. He hasn't tried Kazuya, so it might be another Smash stream. I've been making some me's to show off to surprise him. I think we've got one more stream left of A Way Out. One more stream left of Book of Mario. One other thing we're, we're playing that I, I've forgotten about. One other thing we gotta get through, and uh, we need to start Zelda. Uh oh! Okay, I'm good. Uh, Twilight Princess. I was hoping that we would start and finish that before we got to. Uh, before Skyward Sword came out. The HD version, rather. But we did not, so we're not gonna we're not gonna catch the initial 
pipe train, I suppose. When does when does that come out? Did it come out already? Wait. How am I supposed to make that? I would think... I don't know if Vinny's going to stream it or not. I know he did a stream of the original Skyward Sword. And he enjoyed it at the time. But uh, it's not a game that he was particularly keen on revisiting. It's not the most popular Zelda game. For a number of reasons. So I can't suck that. able to make this. Did I screw something up? I'm confused. July 16th. Okay, so it's not out yet. I hope he streams it just because he makes a lot of jokes about the game. No, I do not have room to walk around that. Yes, I just I need the I guess I just need the TNTs and if I, I blow them up I'm screwed that's it GG yeah it seems that way I like I know a little bit about the lore that Skyward Sword contributes to the Zelda series and that's cool But if you're just playing it, if, if you're playing it for the story and not the gameplay, or the lore, rather. You're gonna play it once, and then you're done. You know what the lore is. You can't experience it for the first time over again. I imagine there's at least one Castlevania game like that, right? That you like for the addition to the lore, but you don't really aren't really keen on ever replaying it again. supposed to be like super mutants ultimate life forms or something like the best that could the genetics can create gotta run from a t-rex man cortex failed at his job I'm doing it again. I'm trying to jump with the, the circle button. Oh, okay. Do I go for it? I think I have all the crates so far. Got the bad bubble timing. I didn't want to do that. One of the GBA games, Harmony of Distance, had a very clusterfuck map system, very easy to get lost. So would you say that is, in your opinion, the worst Castlevania game?
like actual Castlevania game. Kid Dracula doesn't count. Perception on these dinosaurs is awful. want to do a stream of uh, marble games. Both Marble Madness and Hamster Ball will do back-to-back. -back. Trials. I got more of that to do. Versus Order of Shadows. It was a Java mobile game. I hesitate to count mobile games, too. Every time, that particular pit... If I do a double jump, I just run into the mushrooms. <sighs> Shame we can't do more Jack or Ratchet. I'd love to do a uh, Ratchet deadlocked. We get we did three of the four. PS2 Ratchet games. <sighs> Don't you love games that force you to have either music or sound effects? What? Like, NES games that can only play one at a time? I've never seen that as a setting, like you have to check one or the other. Is that a thing in some games? I think the most noticeable game for only being able to play one at a time off the top of my head is uh, Pokemon Red and Blue. That immediately comes to mind. It wasn't like the whole entirety of the music would stop at once, just whatever track the sound effect needed, whatever instrument of the, like, three or four instrument, instrument tracks that the Game Boy had available. The rest of the music would continue while only that instrument track stopped for the sound effect. Again, thought I'd just press the circle button to jump. <laughs> 
God damn it, Dragon Quest. Man, I've been playing this mobile game non-stop. Now when I play other games, I keep tapping on my controllers trying to jump. It's weird. that has like uh, like it, it's it's feature or it's gimmick whatever you want to call it is a is a touch screen which I guess no we already had that we had the Nintendo's done that multiple times between the DS and the Wii U but the dinosaur is doing the it's like a matrix I was worried he would, like, fall into that lava and would not break those crates. This is still the Dingo Dial level. God, this game's levels are long. He's not gonna get the crate. Ah, oh, man! I'm gonna be missing one. Okay, that's that's more than one. I th did I miss the bonus section again? Maybe there wasn't one. Dingo dial levels usually have bonus sections? I don't remember. I don't know that I ever had a Java mobile. I had a phone. That I, I had that kind of phone. Like, way back when. I never got any games on it. I don't where, where would one acquire mobile games, Java mobile games. Do you have to, like, plug your phone into a, a computer or something? Yeah. Bermugula's Orbit. Okay, we got Space World. Did you know gaming did a uh, game preservation video about uh, Java games? It was very interesting. I think people give that channel uh, too much grief. It, uh, they cover a lot of interesting and unique stuff. I still like them. Apparently, there was a whole lot of uh, Japan exclusive Java mobile games. Like they really got on that market when it was big. Dingo dial. Easy, chums. If I was here to fight, you'd be cactus. He's with me. Found him lost out there. Caught him up on the whole time space, you know, thing. Yeah, just trying to get home. I was enjoying the retarded life, see? Got it. Our bad guys had a change of heart, too. Bad guy? Silence, Wilt. Huh? But, sir! You try my patience, Oxide. But, no, no. I'm sure this insect knows how to Hey, Oxide's in this game. Entropy. Take your ship to planet Bermugula and be on the lookout for ships approaching the rift generator. We can't oh. afford any unwanted visitors. At once, your foulness. You manage our affairs with such poise. Naturally. As do you. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, barf. <laughs> Dingo dials into it. 
so this this just got a little bit weird. How is there a fire crate underneath a TNT crate? And they're fine. They can coexist together. What's that? What's with that? Okay, here we go. We got the gravity flip mechanic. I'm really gonna have to pay attention to not miss, miss boxes with this. It's a very Ratchet and Clank setting. Like a space station thing. I knew just from looking at the design, they had to be related in some way. So now we have an official, like, uh... We have a Dark World version in Crash. And we have a gender-swapped universe. Those are both now canon to the Crash Bandit. Well, no, I guess this retroactively made the, the Dark versions non-canon. Like, it, it retconned that. Unless Evil Crash comes back, he could. I would not be that surprised if Evil Crash made a comeback in this, uh, this game, this continuity. Maybe we could even get Evil Coco. What is that? Is that another Oxide race? First person. I want to look at this. I want to look at him. Oh, he's beautiful. We gotta get a closer look at Fat Oxide. And Nitrogen. There we go. He's got like a he's got like a spike sticking out of his clothes. I think that's a working class oxide race. Hello. Gravity returns to normal if I leave the area. This is gonna get weird, isn't it? Are we gonna get Lady Cortex? Is that gonna be a thing? So I haven't looked. How much of the artists gone to town? Oh, I didn't do it just right. I know what they want me to do. We 
just always have a chance of getting randomly screwed by a bouncing nitro crate. doing? There's just eyeball dudes? Those aren't oxides. There's some other alien. I guess it's it's cool to see oxide in a mainline game. I don't know what he's doing with these guys, but a little bit of fan love. Do I? Like, that's a trap. Dragon it's just a pit. Enabled. Oh, okay. What do we track during? Cortex did something, I guess. The others are off on their own adventures. Stick as a group? Nah, screw that. Oh, I wanted to see the, the guy. I, I was trying to look for the alien man. Whoops. No, nope, do over. Wanna look at his, look at his snout. Look at his little eye. <gasps> ah Maybe I can go back. Let me go back. I might have been able to jump on that. There we go. It's a very short rails. It's weird, like, uh, space surf music. I guess that's kind of always been Crash. Like, it's not quite Beach Boys, but... Oh. Wait, uh, huh? That animation didn't play correctly. It's always been kind of like goofy surf music. Not entirely. Some tracks have been, namely the, the Crash 2 river-level tracks come to mind. This was, a uh, the original trilogy's composer was, uh, Mark Mothersburg. Mothersbog? Burb? Bomb? Mark was involved from, uh, Devo. That's right, I have to spin. I've always liked the Crash music style, though. It's very distinct. Which is good. It's good to have, like, a distinct style all your own. Especially in the world of mascot platformers, which, at the time, there were many, 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 many of them. No, go back! End! I see some other people in chat. How are you guys doing? Waiting on Spyro 4. Come on. Do it, Activision. You know everyone's expecting it. Activision toys for Bob, whatever. Now, I guess 
the to Toys for Bob was involved in this game, but they didn't make it themselves. They were just kind of like uh, support. I'm curious how extensive their role in this was. Hello! I would like to get a closer look at that guy, but I didn't get the chance. There's more flashback tapes. What do you look like? Just a little egg egghead scientist dude? He looks like Oxide Mad Max. There's a, there's a checkpoint, or a uh, bonus, we missed in the previous level. Uh, oh! Oh, those are, uh... Those are death lasers. <laughs> death. Oh, this is gonna be a fun mask, isn't it? I already don't like it. This is gonna make the levels really complicated. Go on, go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sounds like Squilliam. Uh, do I need those? No, right? I'll be fine. Because I can always do this. thing, and then I gotta trek backwards. Oh, where am I going? I need to go this way? Yeah. I don't like not being able to see the whole level. <sighs> oh, after all that! This game is mean. Gotta remind myself when I'm doing the, the relics. I won't have to worry about these bonus areas. I won't have to worry about 100% completion. It's just gonna be booking it through the level, just pure platforming. And you know what? I think that'll be a lot more tolerable than all this hunting stuff they want me to do. This feels like Banjo Tooie. Or DK64, even. Like, the original Crash games had that perfect balance of collecting. As Banjo-Kazooie did. And then it was just a little too much. I feel like we're back in that again. Like, if, if, you, if you were born after the year 2000... Well, you probably aren't that interested in the Crash series anyway, and you're probably not playing or watching this, but... If you are... This is what Banjo-Tooie was like. We had a good balance and then the devs just, they made it too much. It was too much to do. <sighs> ah! 
to skip the anal cell rock. Ah, if I just book it through the levels, there's just gonna be like no game. So I will still be making the, you know, the effort to get everything, at least a little bit. If I if I screw it up, if I know I missed a crate, then I'll I'll stop there. I'll just get through the rest of the level, but I'm not gonna just totally give up. I anticipate we'll have this and probably one more stream of the story. It's like the regular playing through the game. And then after that... After this and the next stream, we'll probably end up doing the, uh, the relics. That's my prediction. I'm getting worse every time I do this bonus level. How are the bonus levels some of the hardest parts of this game? They really put the they really put their time and effort into making sure that these are the most difficult parts. Be probably because they're short. They figured ah they're, they're short. They they won't mind attempting them 50 times each. It's the Super Meat Boy logic. Which I would think would apply more to the flashback tapes, but no, the, the flashback tapes are easier than these are. In my opinion. I haven't done all the flashback tapes. I probably... A lot of them I have yet to do, so maybe I shouldn't say that. Uh, what the, uh, huh? Uh, excuse me? So I did not flip gravity there. I jumped too high upside down, and I hit the lower blast zone, and it, it registered as me falling. Let me see if I can do that again. Uh, I can't do it from there. I'm going to do a slide double jump. It's also how you know I've been playing too much Smash Brothers. I call everything the Blast Zone. talk about this some more once we, uh, me and Jack do stream Smash again. People are already, uh, wising up to Kazuya's weaknesses, which I think are pretty prevalent. The Bowser Court especially. Is recognizing that uh, him being very slow and stubby with an exploitable weakness or with exploitable recovery, it's very easy to knock him out of the air and just prevent him from getting back to stage. <sighs> is there any way, any safer way? There's not really any safer way I can do this. I just have to do it good, and I'm not doing it good. I don't have my a Wumpa Bazooka or nothing. I don't have any special mask abilities to help. I wonder if we tallied it up how much of these streams' uh, time would be spent in the bonus levels. Probably a lot. I remember spending a lot of time on them throughout this game. 
This isn't the first one I've hit a roadblock on. Crash level, crash one levels. I could have done in an hour. I wonder what the average play time for someone who's never played Crash Bandicoot to get through the original games is like, just individually, like how long it takes them to get through Crash one or two or three. games like that, it does come down to their skill as a player and how much they how much they end up dying in the games. As opposed to uh, easier easier games, playtime is probably going to be more consistent from player to player. Because it's just the amount of time it takes you to get through the Mario levels, or whatever it is. We know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get to the end of the level and I'm just gonna be like, You missed 50 crates! Uh -huh. I don't know why it's Banjo saying this, but it's him and he's an asshole because he knows where the crates I missed are. I don't know where they are. They could be anywhere. Probably like whole five chunks of level that I missed. And it's super obscure and well hidden and I'll never find it without a guide. is too hard. It is too hard for my baby Crash Bandicoot skills. I have only gotten all the Platinum Relics in all three of the first games. I have 100%ed every Crash game up to this point. I am not good enough for Crash 4. I need to be a speedrunner for Crash 4. I need to be a detective. I need to be Sherlock Holmes for Crash 4. Darian, I'm sorry I doubted you. Light from Death Note plays Crash 4 and cries himself to sleep at night because he cannot deduce the locations of all the crates in Crash 4. Lelouch, super genius prince. Uses Gios to order someone to complete Crash 4. His Gios fails. His absolute control is unable to make someone complete this game. They are sim it's, it, they can't, you can't make them do something they're just incapable of.
Who makes the I Spy books? Can we get them on this game? Can we have them do a Let's Play? Are they still doing those? Where's Waldo? Crash Bandicoot Edition. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. I'm making all the complaints about finding crates. That's not even the issue here. This is just me failing at platforming. Well, no, it's not. No, okay, it's not that. It's not me failing at platforming. It's me failing at this one specific stupid detonation thing. But I know how to do it. If you stand still and spin, your spin is the bottom. If you move while spinning, it's the top. It's it's one block above ground level. So I just need to do the two spin and get away quickly enough. But I cannot do that. It is beyond me to do that. I don't want to go towards it. I'm definitely going to hit it then. But I'm out of other things to try. Nope. All right, I'm done. GG, you win bonus level. <gasps> I don't even see him down there. Uh, oh, I, I see what they want me to do. How dare you. They want me to go back and forth. They want me to levitate with gravity inversion. last I spy book was in 2012. This is just what getting old feels like. Maybe the games aren't harder than they used to be. They're just new, and I don't know what to do. And that's why I can't play Crash 4 or Spelunky 2. I peaked in the PS2, PS3 era, and there's no going back. I survived. Checkpoint. Just making very slow progress. This ship has an infestation problem. There's like pests all over the floors. you doing? Hanging out? I can't interact with him. I want to talk to him. I want to make an alien friend. Go through this whole hallway again. Lost a mask.
They have to include this whole long enemy packed hallway before the rail section. Was that necessary? Can I just jump down? No. I have to do it the safe way. Almost blinded. And I am far, well, maybe there's not that many Nitro crates on the level, are there? I saw it was 113 out of 189. I got a mask now. That may be good or bad. Because I'm on a rail section. I actually don't... I want to... I want to die if I miss something. I bet the detonation might have got that. I think it did. Nope. 17. Oh, that's right. I skipped the bonus section. Probably would have got that if I'd clear the bonus section. Maybe. Alon Coco Land. Coco World. It's not Wonderland, it's Wonder World. Well, everyone stop talking about that. Bala and Wonder World came and it went with the hype. I don't have any new flashback tapes, do I? I? I did all the ones that I've collected. Again. I haven't played this game since the last time I streamed. I haven't unlocked new stuff. Well, I've used all the skins, so I guess I'll just I'll just go back to use as I like. What does old Coco look like again? Weird. It looks like not a PS1 model. Mother clucker. Let's try Cortex level. We haven't done one of those this stream. That's gonna drop me back off of the at the second half of that level I just did, isn't it? I definitely don't think the inverse versions of the levels were necessary in this game. It doesn't really add anything. It's just repeating everything over again. Got to find that ship. Ugh. If I only hadn't replaced my blaster's teleport okay, with that hair again? drive function. L2 and square B are the same thing. And he's got the the headbutt dash. That's right. He jumps like a pencil. There's a nimble little dude, though. You'd think he'd be sitting all around in the lab all day. You'd think he'd be slow. Can I not? I, I can't hit him. I can't reach high enough. Well, maybe I want it back there. Is there stuff? Oh, he doesn't turn into an angel. He turns into a devil. Everyone turned into an angel in Crash Bash. Oh, I missed. Okay, so there's nothing here. It just, uh... I did not miss any crates that way. But where's he flying up to? Have we been lied to? Is hell in the sky?
Uh, why does he do it went work the first time? Still entertaining the futile belief that I will get every crate on this level. The dream isn't yet dead. So I guess I can't headbutt through them. And I can't... Okay. I, just, I guess I'll only have gotten it the first time and then never again. I can't replicate however I got through those crates. Somehow I think Ratchet and Clank wouldn't struggle much fighting Cortex. Okay, so I, I gotta do it high so I can break the crates and can then bounce on them. Are seemingly unintended way to get through there. Oh, lost a mask. Okay, check. Oh, that's right, I turn things into platforms. Okay, so, well you can just you can just live here now. Only to rocks. They don't turn into like space platforms or anything. This is his new life. How did that not hit me? Is that worse than death? Just being a block forever? Alternate version of Rama one half. Where it's not a curse, he doesn't change back between boy and girl, regardless of whether he gets hit with water. He's just stuck with it. He is magically turned into a girl and he just has to live with it now. That's probably a story that someone's done. Just being turned into something and just having to live with it. Obviously, there's, like, the famous Franz Kefka's metamorphosis, but that's not really... I, I guess he lives with it. Like, he turns into a giant bug, and he just withdraws into his house and never sees anyone ever again.
that supposed to be like a cautionary tale about isolation, I wonder? I am no good at this section. I don't like this at all. Oh, I missed a crate. So I guess we'll find out, ex post facto, if that was the one crate I missed. Won't that be fun? one classic. Except this doesn't vary. Looks like it's just the same thing over and over again. Oh. He can't jump on enemies. I have to turn them into platforms. I thought maybe I could do either. Solidify these somehow. Yes, over here. Get up. Move. Okay, there we go. Cortex doesn't get ultimate platformer powers like Crash does. It is just kind of like the, the flying brick set of platforming powers you expect platforming characters to have. Which is basically just Mario. You expect the ability to go fast, or reasonably fast in some form, whether you have to hold a button or not, and you expect the ability to jump on enemies. And when a game doesn't have that, you get mad. As is the case with so many unlicensed bootlegs or shovelware games, things like that. The plug-and-play consoles. I use that term very loosely. Are just full of bootleg knockoff Chinese games that... Very poorly made have platforming characters that can't jump on enemies, can't attack enemies even. You, you gotta be able to destroy enemies. In some form. Like, that's an expectation. That one turns into a... I guess it's the type of enemy that ter determines whether they turn into a bouncy or whatever else they would turn into. Maybe it's how close you hit them. Let me try from far away on this guy. No, nothing to do with that. Trying to catch the oxides or the uh, 
Wait, isn't this Oxide ship? I'm confused. There's a story that they're trying to catch the Entropies? Are they on that ship that's being tractored? I'm not following the complex narrative of this Crash Bandicoot game. Sounds like Dr. Nefarious. Oxide does sound like Dr. Nefarious, which, by the way, is Entropy's first name. He's Nefarious Tropy. So, perhaps Dr. Nefarious is yet another alternate universe version of this asshole. Dr. Nefarious being a Ratchet and Clank character. Oh boy. Upside down wall running. We're using all four dimensions, all four, all four walls. Get rid of those. Those look easy to miss. Whoops! why I'm getting bump of fruits. I don't need them. Like, if you don't play the mode with lives, the fruit is kind of pointless anyway. Why? Well, it, it goes towards your, uh, it goes towards your fruit count. So I wonder if the lives mode is harder in that way as well, because there are gems for getting so many fruit in a level. If you then need to get, uh, you need to get more of the fruit outside the ones that you would get from these guys in order to fill your quota. Not fine. Okay, I got it that time. I always forget that you can spin on these walls and jump after spinning off these walls. So she's holding the wall with her arm. So logically, you would assume that she cannot perform the spin maneuver while one arm is occupied. But this is Crash Bandicoot, since when was it logical? That crate's down there I'm missing, right? Is there? No. Mask from that. Oh, it's okay. Checkpoint. I like that. Put the checkpoints right before the rail sections. Do that, game. They usually do. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they're mean. This game is mean a lot. Dinka Dial really has reformed. He turns into an angel. Cortex doesn't. Or maybe it's just that he's part dog. All dogs go to heaven. Dropping the sick Don Bluth references.
someone posted in uh, Wickersham's Discord that uh, purportedly when uh, Don Blue's Thumbelina was first revealed, what first came out, it was shown to test audiences. Uh, critics rated it relatively poorly at the test screening. However, they did another test screening that was exactly the same movie, but they flashed the Walt Disney Productions logo in front of it, and it got higher scores. Is this the same one, but harder? It is, isn't it? Maybe they'll screw up. Maybe it'll be actually easier. And apparently one suggested explanation for this, other than just, like, confirmation bias, is that, uh... Critics would often rate, they would feel compelled to rate Disney Disney movies highly because uh, they didn't want to risk their reputations as critics if something would uh, be popular with viewers. You know, the box office, with movie audiences. That's kind of an interesting to think about, is that uh, a lot of people who are famous need to, like, uh, worry about risking their reputations, or their credibility, I should say, whenever they, uh, you know, put something out there. And then there's, the like, the Smash community where people will basically give credit to whatever a high-ranking player says just because they're a high-ranking player, and that's it. Like, Esam, I heard, had put out a video of uh, Kazuya Top 13. Ow. And he's, from a business standpoint, that's a good thing for him to do because he profits at any Smash content creator, famous or other, any famous one would profit from just getting people talking, from posting spicy opinions that people are going to get mad and disagree with. Like, he's rewarded for that, from a business standpoint, as opposed to those movie critics who would be punished for that because, you know, they lose their credibility. Here. Well, there we go. Yeah, that was probably intended to be harder, but I got through that in two tries compared to the previous abomination of a, of a bonus stage. All because of that one stupid pile of boxes. Oh, that's an, that's an enemy. I missed that guy. This, this is also going to be easier. Unintentionally. Maybe not this part. Okay. Uh, what? Excuse me? Well, that level was fun. The software was closed because an error occurred. That is the second time that's happened on stream that I can recall. The first time, I think, was uh, uh, playing Smash with Wickersham in the Steve reveal arena. Oh my god, it happened. Are, are, you, are you familiar with this? Has it happened to other like YouTubers you've seen or something? Wait. Crash. Crashed. I got it.
Well, we saw the Cortex part of the level, and we saw most of the uh, the rest of the level, so I'm not going to bother with that anymore. I'm going to move on. Next question. It, doesn't, it didn't save like gems or anything. No, it didn't. So I will have to do that off stream. I am going to have to, at least, at least once, just to unlock the, the relic challenge. So you've seen the entirety of this game, Darian. Can you remind me how much is left? There's this world, like and then there's the one after it, the or Ridge more than generator. one. But we'd be a lot faster in... That. What the... Tana? Evil Tana? I'm not losing you guys in this dimension, too. I'll handle this. Oh. But... We're a team. Okay. Drama and betrayal. In a fucking Crash Bandicoot game. Okay, that's glass. I couldn't tell if it was a pit and I was just gonna die. There's, there's this a little alien hula girl. It's beautiful. I want a, I want a closer look. Let me look at it. He's got like racing flags. Is this his bedroom? Is this like Eggman's room? Is there a giant throne that I can ride back and forth? No, we're going through the vents like solid snake. <laughs> Almost ran into the heat units. What's wait, what's preventing me from going down here? What's let game dev devs, what's your excuse for why I cannot walk forward? You couldn't put just something there? A force field? Alien technology? Only seen a review of it and some cutscenes, oh, okay. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna do wall jumping and simultaneous gravity flipping. Or just dying. That's also something that could happen. Oh, again, my guess is that we have this and one more stream of the mainline game. But it is a guess. I don't know for sure how much is left. It's not like Crash 3, where you could just count the number of warp rooms and levels immediately, just by looking. Although I guess, I guess Crash 1 and 2 you couldn't do that. You just went through the game until you ran out of levels. Although you could tell at least when you were getting to the end. Because, you know, you climbed up Cortex Castle in Crash 1. I guess the cutscenes are an indicator of that. But with a game this modern and this complex... Why, anything could happen! We could, we, have, we could get another twist yet. We could find out we're only halfway through the story. There's like a whole nother arc we have to we have to go through. We did find out there were uh, four masks though, and we got all four, so I guess in theory that's our tell that it should be almost over.
Uh oh. Oh no, that moves. I should have figured that would move. That's a that's a weird, seemingly unintentional interaction. Oh, they all move. Exactly, ten more levels. Okay. <laughs> How many did we do this stream? We did like five, I think. Maybe we got two streams of the story left. I guess it depends on how quickly we get through them. Side, much like K. Rule is married. Why are they floating? That's not supposed. They're supposed to fall. Why? Why no? They fall. for these in this way. How am I supposed to... Oh. Like that. It's a question of I don't know if I have ten levels in one stream in me. Every, every one of these crates on this level. Well, how come that didn't work? Come on. There we go. Get rid of all of those. Stream number five. Might be off. Maybe it's four. It'd be quite a meaty crash game at the end of it. Which it's a modern crash game, so I would assume so. Is that going to be Nitro? Oh. Uh. Hmm. This is not a this is not something that you can react to. This is not something that anyone's gonna get through their very first time through this level. This bonus requires memorization. Why did I do that? Why did I think that was a good thing to do?
What happened? What did that do? Uh... Hmm. Am I gonna get a nitro detonation crate? Is that what's on the left? No, it's not. Well, now I, now I need to know how I'm gonna get back to the right. Well, that didn't work. Maybe I need to go all the way right for a nitro crate, a nitro detonator first. See it, it's over there. <laughs> no, ah, missed. We're just on the edge of the TNT. also the fact that after streaming for a while, I just kind of run out of things to say. Especially since it's summer break right now, and not a whole lot is... I'm working on a story that, uh... I've been trying to get in the form of an animated series for years. Most of my life, in fact. I've just never really known how to do it, and I still don't really. I'm just, I'm kind of winging it. Seeing if I can spend the summer getting it in, uh, in teleplay form, then maybe pitching it to some literary agents. Which, unfortunately, I dread. I'm not a social person at all, so... Pitching anything to anyone is something that I'm not going to, not, not something I'm particularly looking forward to attempting. The alternative is just writing out in book form, which is not what I'd like for it, but it's less social. I would be guaranteed, pretty much guaranteed to just get it published and make some profit from it immediately. More immediately than I would with uh, a TV series anyway. But it's a whole complicated process and I've been a little bit uh, down in the dumps because of the just overwhelming prospect. Ah. <sighs> of all that that entails, is, is making something like that happen. Yeah, 
Maybe I can... Nope! That was a mistake. This is still not as bad as that other bonus level we had. So I guess this, uh... Is this game on PC? I don't remember if it is or not. If it is, it wasn't on the platform I would have liked it on, which is why I got the... the Switch version. It might be on, like, uh, Epic Games or something. But technically, you could get it if you wanted to, Gary. I guess, you know, you've got a, you've got like a PS4 or a PS5 or something. You can get it regardless. Okay, there's the four nitros over there. That hopefully I there's another nitro detonator crate. If there's not, then I needed to do all that in an even more specific order. And I will be missing at least four crates at the end of this level. Oh, these are all gonna move, aren't they? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, the, the thing moves them. I see, it's a, it's a rearranging maze. something I would have seen in uh, Little Big Planet. That's a series I miss. If I had a PS4, I would have gotten Little Big Planet 3 just for the, the single player. Is there a hidden around here? Extra crates? Anything? No? Attention crew! Asteroid field ahead! Buckle your seatbelts! Oh boy, we got this guy. Oh. Aww. Fl wow, there's a flashback tape all the way this far in. I guess I shouldn't be surprised at this point. four missing there's four nitro crates does this one this this box is not set to blow up the dot the nitros in the bonus stage i had to use the nitro detonator in the bonus stage that's lame that's not how it works in every other crash game i don't think that's how it works in this crash game on other levels in other levels the one crate the one detonator blows up all the nitros even in the bonus level I think we got one more level in this one. That might be it. No, we got a boss. Okay. A pair of bosses. 
The lovebirds, as it were. No? Okay, it's a, just a level. We gotta get to the bosses. We can do one more level and we can do the bosses, and I think that that's where we'll stop. So we'll have nine levels remaining on the next stream. Basically, you put oxide and, and uh, entropy in a room together, and you got you got Nefarious and Lawrence. You just gotta change the power dynamic around a little bit. Okay, we got an alien world with slippery ice goo. Mmm, that Crash Bandicoot ice physics. Back in full force. With weird alien crash music. Oh, this is gonna get annoying, isn't it? Hello. Space crocodile eel. What are those? They look like, like, nice, cuddly sea anemone tentacles. What happens to Crash when he falls in the tentacle pit? Can you not show it? ice! At least I can jump on the- well, no, I could jump on the ice and crash one. It's Spyro that you can't jump on the ice in. So now- now we frogger. Wait, what's- what's with that? Hmm. There seems to be some bizarre behavior with that particular puddle of goo. We're just getting lots of all the wacky stuff in Crash 4 today. Okay, this is a slope, I guess. Okay, we got a rideable alien, that's new. With twin sanity style music. It just needs Spiral Mouth doing scat in the background. Do, 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 do. Need to boost? Is that what's expected of me? You've never needed to boost on a, in a writing segment of a Crash Bandicoot gate game outside of that one post game level in Crash 2. What? Oh, there was a flower there. There's a lot going on in this level. Also, the walls are so narrow, I can barely see ahead. Okay, well, I... 
So I don't need to boost to just get through. I do need to boost if I want all the crates, similar to the the Pura, the Great Wall levels in Crash 3. Guess I'm not getting all the crates. Oh well, darn. What a travesty. I'll have to spend less time on this level than I would have otherwise. Oh, this is new. This is kind of cool. I like this. Oh boy. Okay, we're good. But that would have that would have been a cool thing to see in a, on a polar level. What is that? That's a gem platform. It's it's weird. It's hard to differentiate from the weird alien landscape. We slip sliding? We going on a slip slide ride? It's the princess's secret slide, but Crash Bandicoot with aliens! It's lip aliens, lip jellyfish. I don't like it. There was a Ninja Turtles NES game that I had that I never got past like the very first area in. I remember I would always, the farthest I would always get is, a, is an underwater level that was full of uh, electric jellyfish, and I could never get past it. It was just too hard and awkward to navigate them turtles. Maybe I shouldn't have destroyed all those. You know what? I'm not worried. I already missed crates. I don't need to go back there. Oh boy, we're American Ninja Warrior. We got weird angles and everything. Okay. Uh, hmm. What are we doing? Can I jump on them? I cannot jump on them. What am I supposed to do? I gotta got weave on ice? Yeah, no thanks. I don't need the gem platform. Gem platforms are dumb. I'll do that another day. I don't know what that noise was, but it sounded... I guess it was Crash. It sounded like the Emperor's New Groove Squirrel. No, I think it was the squirrel. Maybe that was the alien variant of the Emperor's New Groove squirrel. Look how much easier this is when I'm not trying to collect everything. Okay, then I entered the bonus stage. I'll give it a fair shot. It's another inversion thing. There was my fair shot. Good bonus level. I don't know why I suddenly thought of this. It'd be weird to see, like, uh, Maple Story with this kind of mechanic, the gravity inversion. Because there were. They attempted platforming sections in Maple Story, the MMO. And they weren't great. They were just kind of a lot of the same jumps over and over again, and it was a, it was a, even called like the Forest of Endurance because it was just seeing how consistently you could do the same thing and not screw it up is all the platforming ended up being.
Although I mentioned during the uh, Maple Story DS stream that that game was much more uh, single player focused. I think it played a lot better as a, as a result of that. Ow! Oh. Got some epic string sections in this track. You know why I thought of Maple Story? It's this music. This music is a little bit Maple Story-ish, which is great. Maple, the music is the best part of Maple Story. I might even say the only good part. It's the music and the graphics. Them, them Korean game makers. They make beautiful games, but boy, do they play bad. I wonder how much Korean animation is out there. Not, like, animated in Korea stuff, because that's a lot of stuff. Pretty much everybody outsources their animation, just the, the actual animation process to Korea. But, like, fully Korea original shows. Fully conceived and written and produced in Korea. There's got to be at least a couple, right? These levels are so long that they have multiple animal riding sections in one level. It's nuts! Ice physics, too. Oh, this is mean. And we got... with moving platforms? continuously amazed by the lengths to which this game goes to just screw you over. Because these sections have to be so carefully constructed. They are cool. I like the I like the moving platform stuff and like the, the falling earlier. That was novel for this kind of section in a crash game. Section. These didn't used to be sections, they used to be entire levels. Save for uh, Bear Down in Crash 2. That had, that had sections of the... No, it still only had one bear riding section. It was at the end of the level. The rest of the level was just regular on foot running. Crash warped at dinosaur levels, where you would uh, escape the dinosaur and then do some platforming and then resume. Do well, that's not, that's a different thing. That's not writing something. I'm just thinking, historically, these kinds of levels have been totally self-contained, the writing segments. How come the bull, the, the boar, didn't get like a cute name and didn't appear in later Crash games. He just what he wasn't cute enough. No one liked the boar from Crash One. The polar bear you ride in Crash Two, and the the dinosaur and the and the tiger you ride in Crash Three. People all remembered them. They all got names. They got to they got to be in like Crash Racing. CTR Nitro Fuel had everybody, too. They totally could have added the boar. I'm a 
tell Jack these mad cunts. He's familiar with Crash Bandicoot. He knows what the, like, the riding levels are. I'm gonna tell him these mad lads had riding sec sections with advanced platforming and moving platforms. And he's going to be immediately scared off of Crash 4 forever, if he wasn't already. Hole in space. Alright. Weird. I don't like that Coco. It's, it's weird seeing her all painted. Just do normal Coco. She looks fine. She looks nice in this game. I kind of wish there were more challenges on the bosses. Like, more gems and optional things to get. They included plenty of them for the regular levels. I don't mind the bosses I would like more because they're shorter. They're not, like, half-hour commitments to do one. What's the matter, hero? Couldn't solo this one? Wow, she's huge. The last time I killed her friends, her screams were exquisite. Huh? Delicious. No! Let's make this fun. Give them a sporting chance. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see what you Mongols can do as a pack. <laughs> the Chad of masks. Like the bleach Chad, not the other Chad. He's, he is a Chad. Chad is a Chad. A door between the Chad, nations. Chad versus Virgin Ichigo. Okay, I guess we'll just we'll go through. We, we doing stories? I thought this was a boss fight. Silly me. Interdimensional domination. I guess I'm collecting things. What happens if I fail? Do I miss lore? I guess I miss lore. Darn. Ah! Ah! I'm missing everything! I mean, I guess it's not anything important, it's just repeated quotes we've already heard. In my universe, bandicoots are considered pests. Is fit for extermination as a housefly. Oh, how modern. Tell me more. Cause cause he he's he's like the guy who it's time. That's he's calling shit things modern. But I find it disgusting. I'm up the first. Just uh, doing platforming while there's a laser scope on us. It's like what I hear about Sonic Forces. 
Wait, what am I doing? Oh, this is the time slow mask. Okay. Whoops! That's death. It's like clockwork and slides, a platforming challenge. This way? No, I can't go around that way. Oh, that's all. I just have to spin. Spin! Lasers block the thing, so this is way easier than it probably would otherwise be. Oh. Well, he was right. Okay, we got a checkpoint. This is the fight. He's just gonna chase us back the way we came. Yeah. Oh, the, the lasers don't stop them now. Otherwise, I go too fast. Uh oh. Wonder how much of a boss fight it is, but this is definitely challenging. What I could go for? I could go for a grilled cheeseburger. I don't know why I suddenly thought of that. What did it pop pop tarts put out a tweet? Of pop tarts on a grill. They're joking, right? No one would actually do that. I guess it doesn't matter. They're pop tarts. You can eat them with literally anything. You can put them in an easy bake oven. Papa Murphy's does that too. They put out, uh, they advertise grilling their pizzas like on a grill outdoors, on like on charcoal. All right, I've never tried it. I just I can't imagine anyone going through the effort for a take and bake pizza. Wait, what? Oh. I guess that was damage. I didn't even see what what hurt him exactly. Okay, his shots are blocked by the things. His are strictly worse than hers. They were. They were red, white, and blue Murica flavored Pop Tarts. You have Burgerville in your part of Washington, Darian? Riverville's got a, a red, white, and blue thing going on right now. With the... Uh, it's like ice cream sandwiches. Bandicoots.
Is this the first time death has been referenced in a Crash game? What's the matter? It's not something they, that ever really comes up in these games. I no longer have need for our... Alliance. Right then. Let's plug up these holes. That's it, we beat the game. That was the final boss. We're all done. No more levels left. Crash 4 was great. Boy, not that it ain't been fun. But about my ticket home. Right. Now that we've uh, mended things, we can take you anywhere. Any when. After we rest. For now, I can only get us as far as the culinary capital of the universe. Neon City. <laughs> We, we have a One Piece style after arc party. We beat the bad guys. Now we gotta have a great big pirate feast with celebration and mermaids. Okay, they only did mermaids once, but it was a nice feast. Alright, so I guess next time we're gonna have a great big party in future Neon City. 3023, the snacks dimension. And then, uh, I think there's probably one or two worlds after that. We have nine levels left. Assuming bosses were not in that run, in which case we'd have eight levels left. But, that's plenty for today. I've had, I've had my fill. I'm done with Crash 4. See, see you in a while, Crash 4. Uh, I got, still got Trials I'm doing, still got uh, the Marble games. I got, I got plenty of solo streams that I, I can sprinkle around. And uh, Jack will probably be back with me Saturday or Sunday. We'll, we'll try to get a stream in together this weekend, whatever it ends up being. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.